Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube page. Uh, thanks for being here and thanks for being part of the Reading Smoke Nation. really do appreciate it. Shout out to the new subscribers this week. Matt Foster, Derek McKenzie, Ismael Mauricio, Jed Martin, uh, Daryl Buttery, Doug Paul Messi, Ralph Navarrete, uh, C. Peters 2213, and Nathaniel Oliver. Thanks for being out there. Thanks for joining up. Remember, you can always uh, subscribe and you can hit notifications so when I post new content, it'll let you know right away. All right, so we're on scene in Forest City, uh, Pennsylvania. Shout out to the brother, Jay Rake, who uh, brought, who was uh, giving us some additional detail based on the SBSK post that they were able to put this fire out. And here we go. So what we talked about at the, on the SBSK uh, post this week is that, that this is fuel and the, when the fuel lights off, right, all this volume goes away. Right? That's, that's um, really the, the point of the SBSK post this week was smoke is fuel. And we looked at the pattern, right? We looked at the pattern. I showed you another video where the same sort of thing happened, where the fuel package lights off and most of the smoke, the volume gets consumed. And uh, you can see right away there's a lot less smoke coming off of here. It's mostly consumed thin, black, and fast coming off of there. Uh, what it looks like to me is that the smoke's coming out and it looks like there's maybe a fire that's extended up either through or onto the roof decking here. <clears throat> and obviously hard to know which if you're, if you're not there. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it looks like there's a fire hits them that comes from the roof there and catches this column on fire boom okay so was that vented from uh the space who knows all right <clears throat> don't know where the source was but anyway this column excuse me <clears throat> this column is now on fire right okay but that's not all we can see here right we we're looking at volume velocity density color and we're inventorying the four attributes right across across the building and not just getting tunnel visioned or, or sort of sucked into the one spot that seems to have the most activity going on but seeing what's going on in the rest of the building so if we go back to here right one of the things that we're trying to do with our reading smoke is to figure out the location right the, the location of the fire and the shortcut there is the highest velocity from the most restricted opening is closest to the seat of the fire. And in fact, here we can see that that is over on this side, right? It's coming out against the wind and we have high volume, lots of turbulence, really tons and tons of energy. Is there smoke coming out here? Yes. Um, is the velocity as high, is the turbulence as high, is it as angry as the smoke over here? No, it's not. We also have a significant difference in color, right? Over here, black moving all the way across to the gray scale over on this side both probably due to some off gassing of steam as this big space in here gets heated and some filtering as it moves across and or goes through these cracks right but just a lot more pushing out over here and remember this is pushing out on this side also against this little bit of a breeze right so we can look at this and say, hey, the fire's in, if we call this the alpha side, which I think it is, the fire is in uh, the bra or the alpha bravo corner, right? So the fire's concentrated here, and we can see that it's really, right now, it looks to me, can't see the whole building, but it looks to me like it's mostly a cockloft fire, right? Okay, why am I saying that? Well. All the smoke I see is from cockloft. Let's take it back and let's look down here and, and see, do we see anything coming from floor two? Anything coming from floor two at all? And I don't see anything. I don't see, I, none of these windows are getting um, color in them. I don't see any sweating. I don't see any staining. I don't see any smoke pushing out from down low, only from this upper space, right? So. Could there be a single room fire here that extended? Absolutely, there could be. We would know that. We'd want to read the smoke, right? The way we would know that, I'm going to turn down the audio there. The way we would know that is when we got up on the floor two, so typically in these buildings, you're in this you should have two uh, 
um, stairways, that, at least two stairways that go up here, right? You're going to want to find the closest one for the shortest stretch and get on one side of this fire. But when you get up there, if there's a fire in one of these rooms, then obviously you're going to hit it. Um, you're going to see it, you're going to see smoke in the hallway, and you're going to be able to find that door, and you're going to be able to hit it hard. And that might even give you really good access to the cockloft fire, but it might just be a cockloft fire, which means we're going to need a lot of hooks, right? And so uh, there's a significant fire in the cockloft. I mean, this is this is a pretty good push. Uh, it's starting to move its way as this as this darkness moves the darkness the black the color black moves across here that's a pretty good indication that your fire front is starting to move across move this way and that's the way we would expect it to move just because of this little breeze that's going here today right um from the uninvolved or from the involved to the less involved i should say but as the smoke is pushing out you can see even as this lights off that the um, all of our indicators start going up pretty dramatically along this um, edge. The color gets deeper, the volume and velocity go up, right? Over the course of time, it just gets worse. Uh, and this is really exhaust gas ignition here mostly, right? So it's coming out and then it's lighting on fire. So somewhere in here, right? Somewhere in here is a pretty significant fire and it actually has access to oxygen. The fresh air is coming in somewhere. Um, it's probably not a bi-directional flow over here. It's probably, I would guess from reading the smoke, I would say this is a 100% exhaust and the fire's in here somewhere and it's getting its uh, fresh air somehow uh, from some other spot, probably from floor two maybe uh, through an open door or something like that here on the floor two hallway, right? All that will be evident when you make your way up to the top of the stairs, you open that door and read the smoke in that hallway, you're gonna see a lot, right? Is that if it's up towards the ceiling and drifting up there, that means that apart, there's an apartment and the door is closed. If the smoke is heavy and black all the way to the deck on this floor number two hallway, that means that there is an apartment fire over here and the door to that apartment is open right either way if you're going to put this out you want to get line stretch get water flowing uh, there's going to be a lot of truck work uh, not just on the roof but plenty of hooks so we'll probably have uh, engine guys with hooks pulling ceiling uh, or if you're just a department that doesn't have trucks you're going to have to pull those ceilings anyway to get up into this attic space i would anticipate here lath and plaster construction Although you could have multiple ceilings. I mean, this could be a real bear of a fire. I know they, they put this one out, but if you have like um, a drop ceiling and then maybe uh, um, above that uh, intermediate ceiling and then maybe the old ceiling, which might be like 12 feet tall, you could have a real bear of a time getting up into this space, right? But the same thing is true from our reading smoke perspective. Smoke is fuel. We inventory the volume, the velocity, the density color. The highest velocity from the most restricted opening and this is all pretty much the same here but most over here is going to tell us that the fire is located primarily right now in the alpha bravo corner and definitely up in the cock loft is our primary fire space right now okay we can see that the um that the smoke is fuel and as that fuel burns off the the volume goes away but there's still plenty chug it out of this corner over here with dark here moving to lighter but getting darker as the fire progresses okay so that's good wrap up for this week hey thanks for joining me on my youtube page thanks for coming to sbsk uh, if, if this is helping you at all or if you have any questions or comments feel free to hit me up and uh, i really do like uh, seeing some comments on my youtube page love answering questions and you can always uh, find information about where I'm teaching at my website, ignitionpointtraining.com, or in the show notes here. Hey, thanks, everybody, and uh, for Reading Smoke with Phil Jose. I'm Phil Jose, and I'm out.